Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all, all times, time. man. Yeah. Had to come tap in again with OG Percy. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, we in the building, man, and uh, once again, they liking the message, they getting the message. <laughs> <laughs> they like what you bring in the raw to uncut to reality. It will be turning me up when you say that. Hey, <laughs> that's who, turn me up. That's my, yeah. my pep talk. Pep yeah, they, they, they want to hit that. They want to hit that raw, that yeah. uncut, that real. You know what the goal is when we talked in the beginning, man. No doubt. So I presented something to you what we seen today when the dude had got snitch carved in his head. What you do? Hold on the way, no. You told on the real nigga to save your faith. Yeah, y'all feel what happened. When a nigga tell on the hog or something, man, tell on the real nigga or something, man, what we doing. I don't know exactly what this was, but they making these remarks and they showing them what happened when he told. Uh huh. You got to bring him to the reality, bro. Telling and you landing on the unit, <laughs> jumping in the water, the streets, you might deal with something like that. It might not be you personally, but that might be your silly or something like that. Tell them how the game go for real so they can know what type of things you done seen, bro. Tales from a Crip, man, right here on uh, UPTV, man. Uh, the greatest of all times right there, man. Shout out to the homie Big Ant, first of all, and giving honor to God, too. Yes, sir. First of all. <laughs> of all. But anyway, uh, yeah, and you hear the power for note that, man. <laughs> Woof, powerful note, snitching. Uh, this is gonna take up all your time. Yeah. You know, and I won't be snitching. <laughs> I'm gonna be telling the truth. Yeah. You know, that's what they used to, taking up a lot of niggas' time, you know, cause um, you know, nowadays, let me let me um, you know, give my boy a little lesson right now. Yeah. And um, uh, um, pen and pad. Yeah. You understand me? Um a little lesson in pen and pad. Yeah. See, one thing they tell them niggas, they get in there, they say, go ahead, nigga, you know what happened? Right. Yeah. Right. Nigga, look out here, nigga. You know, nigga, I don't get down, cuz. I don't get down, blood. I don't get down, folk. I don't get down, Lord. I don't, I don't down, nigga. Nobody ain't no rat toe real. There ain't no Mickey Mouse. No Tom and Jerry's, nigga. No Mighty Mouse is over here, nigga. No under they, under that Levi, Levi. There ain't no mouses over here, nigga. We don't do no rat. And he say, all right, cool, nigga. You ain't going to f*** pen and pad, I guess, huh? He was like, huh? Well, cool then. Now, 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 in my, um, minister society voice, the detective that's at the table talking to the nigga. So, so you're not going to f*** pen and pad? Nah, I ain't f*** pen and pad. But that's cool. Let's get that pen and pad from this song, right? Don't worry about it. Just get ready to make the pen <laughs> your pad, nigga. <laughs> Bars. I'm gonna let y'all see soak in that for a minute. Yeah, nigga, they gonna get it right. Now, hold on. They gonna get it right. <laughs> let them laws start telling them niggas the pen gonna be their pad. Yeah, for the rest of your life, nigga. Because the shit you doing, the shit you get yourself into running with them all niggas. And they tell you, yeah, you, you, you know, we understand, you, you know. You know, you run with the wrong crew. You fuck the wrong guy. We understand you grew up in a good church, that nigga will cry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I can't. You can't do it, huh? In my Denzel boy. You can't do it. <laughs> Give a nigga the gun and shoot a nigga and they, and they can't do it. Get a nigga pen and pad, tell him go on right. See, one thing about that, back in the days, they couldn't do it. Boy, so I'm gonna let y'all soak in that for a minute. In the 90s and the 80s, and yeah, like the beginning, a little bit of the, the early 20s, just a little bit. I'm getting that at 21. Ain't giving you niggas, no. Nah, that's too much. I'm gonna give you niggas 20. You know, all time high by then. But yeah, back then they wouldn't, you, you couldn't tell a motherfucking thing. Matter of fact, you better not, man, I swear to God. And um, one thing that was rarely heard of in my hood was a snitch. When I was coming up, 
man, that was like, I mean, hold on. That was like saying, uh, you know, you talking, come on, man. It, it was just something, I don't know. When somebody say somebody snitched on somebody, it's like everybody knew that nigga told something. Because let me tell y'all something. You could rarely find a nigga that would tell something on somebody. Ain't nobody tell shit on nobody. Nigga, you better not go tell it. You better not go rat. You know say you, man, everybody just beat you up for nothing, nigga. Dry. You get beat up from nigga, you don't even know. They just hurt that. That's nigga that be snitching. You know? And, and snitch, that was, you know, the, the same back then, snitching, snitching get stitches. You had niggas actually sitting in prison for other niggas' charges back then. You know? You know, you know, y'all call it keeping it real, loyalty and shit. Loyalty, nigga. So let me tell you, nigga, loyalty. If a nigga doing loyal, I wouldn't have to go sit in jail for you, in prison for you. That ain't being loyal. You know, if, if we loyal, nigga, you say, you know what, I'm not going to let you do shit, man. That was my I'm going to take that fall, man. I ain't going to let you go down there, but thank you anyway, man. Now, y'all can let him out, man. That was my man. I ain't going to, but thanks, man. I see where your heart was at. I see you finna go do that, man. But see, uh, the average nigga these days, man, man, send me some comments. I got you, cuz. I got you. I got you. Go hold it down for me, man. I got you. Hold it down for me. Who the f hold it down for me? But anyway, you niggas start telling y'all niggas the pen gonna be your path for the rest of your life. Boy, them niggas start singing like they Betty right, nigga. You hear me? <laughs> Them niggas start singing like they bitty right. Niggas like tonight is the night. You understand me? Gotta see them take y'all young niggas in there. And you niggas be acting like y'all tough and hard and stiff. Then you get in that room they close that motherfucking door. Then you got grown men standing over you that don't give a f about you. Well, handcuff you one in the church and slap your teeth out your motherfucking mouth, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, had you looking weak in the mud. Handcuff you one of them church and have you. I didn't see them do the biggest niggas like that. What I'm talking about. They had them niggas up crying like they some. Yeah, straight up. Y'all, y'all think I'm bull. And just imagine what they'll do to one of you little young niggas. Slap you in your face and knock your phone out your. And like that nigga did that nigga at the airport. I ain't gonna say no names. I'm just giving you the way to slap a go. <laughs> when they slap the shit out of you, and guess what you niggas gonna do? Then he gonna come back in there. He gonna say here. Right. <laughs> now, playing, you're playing with the paper. You better get over there and get it right. Right what the f you saying, nigga? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nance, nah, yes, sir. <laughs> I know it. I know it. See, y'all might be laughing and thinking that's a fucking joke or something. That's real. Them niggas be in that. Serious crying young niggas, breaking them. Some of them break with that. Then they tell it. What, what? Why they tell it? Why do a nigga tell it? Why do a nigga snitch? Why? Cause he. It's number one. He he scared. Um. I think it's not snitching when a nigga ought to look out for theyself. What you mean by that person? If person, if a nigga get caught up with some. Nigga, you sitting there knowing it's on me. Nigga, say something. Nigga, I, I don't want to go to penitentiary, but I ain't gonna say nothing. But you say something, nigga. You hear me? But then you call me a real nigga for holding it down, for going down. But you didn't keep it real with me, nigga, for me not to have to go down. Hello. Yeah. You didn't keep it real with me, nigga. You let me go sit down there and miss my family, leave my little ones out here. You didn't look out for my kid like you was supposed to, nigga. You understand me? Not come back, everything gone. One of my sons in a penalty on his way to jail. You didn't do sh you didn't keep him in football, little league basketball, or nothing, nigga. You let my Yeah. But I kept it one thousand with you and went and did your time. But you want one thousand of them not let me even have to go down there. That's not a partner. But guess what? I got something for you niggas. The pen will be your pad, nigga, real soon, nigga. Well, that what happens to the niggas that, um, that's the first half of the story. That what happens to the niggas that get they self caught up on a run with the other crew. But now, let's get down to urban question about getting the jacket on your back. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got that. Cause I, cause, cause I had to go tell that cause I wasn't finna let them niggas just railroad me cause. Well, you shouldn't have got in the car. 
Hello. Send this to your mama before you got there. Excuse me. Hello. The same nigga, let me tell y'all niggas, them same niggas you run them houses and shoot up them houses and kick them doors in with, them same niggas gonna be the same nigga on that stand <laughs> telling every goddamn thing. Telling. I told you. <laughs> Hell you talking about? I'm telling you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't do that. <laughs> I told you. He was gonna tell that. He going to tell that. And now that he done told, you know, you know, see one thing, what the nigga, you stupid nigga, you ignorant, you snitches. See, a, a nigga told it on a nigga. And I, uh, I ended up doing three years and they got on stand and pointed me out of the courtroom. See, there he is. See, let me tell y'all something. I used to run with niggas that I thought would, what? Never break. I already knew he ain't going to tell it. Man, with niggas that I got too much on him, he got too much on me. Said the stiff nigga, oh, cuz ain't gonna never say nothing. Oh, cuz don't need, cuz them don't, cuz them don't do no snitching. Cuz them can hold water, them niggas can hold water. Well, we know, we know this remedy right here, don't we, man? Yep. <laughs> it's just for uh, one more time for y'all niggas that didn't get it the first time. I ain't never met a nigga that can hold water. I ain't never met a nigga that can hold water. And I'm gonna let the carpet soak in that for a minute. <laughs> Let's get to the mission at hand. Tales from a crib. Nigga, when I went to the penitentiary, nigga, we ran into snitches. We turned them into hoes. They turned them into Nigga, you not safe. Nigga, you are not safe. You gonna find out once you tell it, you done told it, and it's time to go, and that jacket on your back, you are not safe. Yeah, you good. Yeah, you gangster. Yeah, you a big nigga. Yeah, you such and stuff. Yeah, you all that. But when you get in there, you gonna find out, nigga. With that jacket, you a You straight up, nigga. Straight up. You fucking tell that nigga still who snitch. Cause no cubs are snitch. The big nigga over the cone, the big nigga be talking all the shit. Yeah, nigga snitched on little John John. Them after got them niggas 25 years. Right, I'm gonna whoop that old then. He gotta go. See, one thing about a snitch, he always gotta go. Yeah, I'm gonna let y'all soak in there for a minute. Yeah, let me, let me tell y'all some real, some real prison deep shit. Once you tell it on a nigga, cause I don't give a fuck who you is, bitch ass nigga. Whole ass nigga. I'm saying those harsh words right there because that's what they gonna treat you like. When you, oh nigga, I did, did it. And you think you finna go down here and sit on the bench and live and swing like that nigga. Snap, get your bitch ass out of the hole, snitching ass nigga. Hey, what's going on here, Mr. Snitch? And everybody rack pack your motherfucking ass. Oh, that what happens to snitches. They don't get a fur fight. They don't get called out. They don't get a chance to, you know, get a warning. Because once the jacket on your back, bitch, you just like a the Pink Panther walking around. Everybody know you a motherfucking Pink Panther. Look at that little Pink Panther. How you know? Because he ain't like us. He the Pink Panther. He pink. We human. That's the snitch right there. No Pink Panther snitch right there. That's what you look like in prison to everybody. And guess what? Nigga, you fool until you become a nigga hoe. Fuck you talking about, bitch ass nigga. Nigga, you fool till you become a nigga hoe. Let me get in my penitentiary bar. Let me get, let me go, let me get penitentiary rules in effect right now. You don't mind, do you, Irvin? Do your thing. Penitentiary rules in effect. That means my mind reflecting to a convict. Bitch, you a hoe in here, bitch. Don't never, if I ever heard a nigga snitch in here, bitch, you gotta go. Who snitch? Now get that bitch out of here, nigga. That's King them, cuz. I don't give a fuck who that hoe is. Look out, cuz. Cuz you gotta go. Get out of here, man. Don't come in here. Who the nigga? I'm talking to you, bitch. Snitching ass nigga, cause this nigga snitch out who? Cause and, and, and I swear to God, the weakest nigga in there tell to come up on your head. Well, he a nigga, yeah, free, free jump. You get to help us at this time. He a snitch. <laughs> Weak nigga go over there and shine on your head. <laughs> Telling your ass up, he ain't got himself nothing, but you a snitch. And you can whoop anything, get in front of you, but in here, I don't think you better whoop nigga. It's your own motherfucking self, nigga. Them niggas gonna whoop ass everywhere you go. Nigga, until somebody said, look out, cuz I got to chill out. Cuz now they gonna jump me, cuz. I didn't see niggas living the worst fear. Tell us from a crib, man. I was on Ferguson Unit one time, man. And, um, a nigga hit Ferguson Unit, nigga, that was a gangsta ass nigga out of Fort Worth, nigga. 
Folks been one of the top notch folk work niggas and folk the stone down nigga, crip nigga and everything. This nigga was the truth, man. According to the gangster streets world, he shot, he killed, he did it all. He completed the test as a gangster in Myrtleworth, Texas. And he had his own. Shout out to that nigga Drake. Well, anyway, when Drake got there, was in the early 80s, they were doing things, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I'm gonna I'm I'm save a couple of niggas' names, you know, but niggas that know the story know who the fuck I'm talking about. These niggas was in the streets doing some killing, they were doing the murder worth shit, nigga, doing the murder worth days, and these niggas got caught. <laughs> Hello! Well, and on top of that, free my nigga said, said he always made, he already made it home. Matter of fact, he just called me the other day. Life sentence, he already completed his whole life sentence and made it home, get it 35, 838 flat. You heard me? Yeah, he already at the house. Uh, he just called me yesterday uh, for his murder show. But, you know, the thing about it, you know, uh, it was some bodies out here in these streets, nigga, that, you know, y'all don't understand what murder worth means. Uh, it's like uh, a city you can come to and get away with a lot of shit. All right? Well, bodies was one of the most, you know, uh, walk those shit just like looking at a run over dog in the street. God damn. <laughs> shit. And niggas is going to keep going. That's how it came Funky Town. I said it's Funky Town because all the bodies left around. So you can see what goes around in this motherfucker. Stay around. It's Funky Town. It's stinking. It's, it's a body over there. It's, it's fucked up when you hood. You can smell the bodies. You know, the, 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 the stench gets so strong that somebody better call somebody and find out where that motherfucker is. Y'all smell that body? Yeah, somebody, somebody around here. Let's go. This is what I mean. Yeah, somebody house burning. Oh, somebody barbecuing. Oh, yeah. That's how good you said. Oh, that's a body. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. That's insane for somebody to know that smell. And that's what it is. They, they found it. It was, what was it? It was around the corner around there. You heard me? That's, that, that's inhuman, nigga. But anyway, tells from a crib when I was on the unit, a gangster hit the unit. When he hit the unit, Word at the street that I was an enforcer. My job was to match anything, you know, you know. I was that, that was my job, you know. You niggas can hate out y'all can hate now. Play hate all the fuck you want. If you was in there, bitch, I'd have slapped one of you niggas in your mouth too. You hear me? I was on that. I wasn't a bully. I was just square business. And I know a lot of you fuck niggas coming that ain't square business trying to run that square business shit, and then you gotta prove that's what you is. Then come to fire. Shout out to my nigga got I almost got you. I'm gonna get you in a minute. Lucci, shout out to my nigga Lucci in H Town. Screwdriver click. He got the screwdriver on the on his arm right here. He said, "Ain't that many of us?" He scrubbed in his crib, nigga. Stomp down, nigga. Shout out to my nigga Lucci with the screwdriver click. He said, "You, you mentioned that person there, no?" He told me that twelve years ago, and I just remembered it right now. But shout out to my nigga Lucci. Got a picture of him. He from H Town, and he belongs to the screwdriver click. He said, "If you want to know who the screwdriver, they got these on their arm right here, the screwdrivers right here, so niggas know who the fuck we." I said, "What that mean?" He said, "We used to pop them cars, goddamn me, with the screwdriver, we used to ride out with their shit." I said, "But anyway, Lucha was my stomp down nigga when he came. When Lucha came, in, he said, "Say, look out, cause you got some snitches over here." I said, "What? Some snitches in this bitch?" He said, "Yeah, these niggas be snitching, man." Out. You got one nigga right here snitched on some crip niggas on another unit, man. Said that they raped him over there and had. Said that the, the Mexicans raped him in the shower. A crib nigga? Yeah. Man, get the fuck out the gate. Where he at? He right over there. Now, Lucha ain't been in with this motherfucker. Uh, 10 minutes. You just walked in the door. But I can tell the way that when the nigga walked in, he was, you no. Know, yeah, yeah, then he got, hey, but he, you know, he, you know, he looking, you know, ain't too much on him. See, like, man, he said, what's happening, cuz? He said, where the crib niggas at? She read her. He ain't know. He was talking to the leader. And that nigga said that to me and not even know. You understand me? But he just peeped the swag. I said, right here, cool, what's cracking? Yeah, man, I just came in from, um, you know, the junior just got transferred. He said, but when he was coming down the hall, he seen a snitch. Hello. You seen a snitch? Yeah, he a crib nigga. You seen a snitch crib? You got to be kidding. Nah, I'm close. You right down there. So he told me who the nigga was. And the nigga he said was a snitch nigga. I ain't putting no names on none of this shit because it'll... It'll turn up a little bit. I, mean, I already know how you niggas is. Tender. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the niggas that was there know this story. <laughs> but anyway, the crib nigga that was there, I was like, God damn, cuz, cuz, put some. Cuz said she was a snitch, cuz. Man, I did that shit way long time. But wait a minute, wait a minute, cuz. Y'all smell that? <laughs> smell like a dead body around her somewhere. You smell that, you Smell like a dead body around her. And that's my partner. From Fort Worth, from the phone.
Nigga, for my stomach, that nigga up in the locker seat since he hit this hoe. We been right on some gangster shit, but, uh, I have a job to uphold. I'm an enforcer. I'm a shot caller. Uh, I can't be biased to the rules. <laughs> yeah, I just, that's me. You know, I know a lot of you niggas, man, that nigga see it from a city. I ain't even do, man. Fuck that nigga. These folk work over here because we said this. Now, look at me, y'all. Uh, you are not a cop. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I'm a real police creep right now. I'm a real police when it comes to these situations, creep. Yeah. Holy moly donuts. I'm a real police right now. Because I got to stick to the rules. <laughs> that part. But anyway, my partner said, God damn, because I say, because I, man, said it, said it. You didn't do what they say you did, because. Well, one of the things was, I ain't going to bring play this nigga name up, you know. It was a story went like this. One of the crib niggas had to be from forward. I go to the cell, because I said, what's up, person? I said, look out, because them niggas say that you stuck a bottle in your ass, shampoo bottle in your ass over on those other unit, slid it up in your ass, and then you had some niggas rape you. Cause he said, because I was just trying to get from over there. Wait a minute, because hold on. I was just trying to get transferred off that unit, because I didn't want to be over there no more. Wait a minute, because, 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 come on, because. My nigga, I know damn well I'm not hearing you say what you just said. You did that just to say that you can get transferred and go to another. You stuck, you, you, you sodomized yourself with a shampoo bottle. God damn nigga, what about a pencil, you know, an ink pen or something? A shampoo bottle, though? Nah, that shit was already like that. Hey, you talking about shampoo bottle? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lose composure. But anyway, the moral of that story, that nigga had to fight that night. Lucci went out there to fight the nigga. Lucci took the nigga three rounds. Uh, good match up. Everybody need to see another day. Cuz do not come over here doing that shit. Cuz, well, I'm good then, cuz. Tales from a crib. That wasn't nothing. A lot of most snitch niggas was spotted. One nigga got spotted hit the unit. He was another scrub business nigga. Damn. From Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, well known in these streets of Fort Worth that well known. Say, hey, you talking about, hold on, take my watch out when I hit this hoe up. Well known on that South Sea for real, nigga. And that's on everything. Well known on that Agland GG's, nigga, on everything. Understand me? Uh, names are being hidden to protect the innocent. <laughs> but anyway, this nigga right here got caught over there and he said, cuz, a Glen Gordon nigga ran up to the Glen Gordon and said, cuz, that nigga gotta go, cuz. Every, now, this nigga that just got here, everybody was in the, been standing around this nigga. Hey, cuz, what's up, cuz? What's up, pot? What's up, cuz? You know, cuz just hit the unit. Where he at? He down. Everybody going, oh, cuz, when you get here today, cuz? Damn, yeah, everybody here. Then one nigga see the nigga say, oh. Oh, cuz, that hoe, he got to go. He got to go, Percy. That nigga, Percy, Percy. Cuz, he got to go. Cuz, why you saying all that, nigga? You don't even be doing no cribbing no more, nigga. You in this church now, nigga. We let you get out the way, you know, move. But that nigga that was talking, you know, he had 14 years flat over. He just laid his shit down to the side, you know, try to try go a little bit. Give God a try. <laughs> but because he been damn fooling the whole time he been there on some hard head shit. He just decided, you know, she, you know, but he seen something that he reflected on when he seen this nigga. And he looked at me and he gave me a little like purse. That nigga got to go. I was like, nigga, you ain't no crip no more, nigga. You go to church, nigga, go to church. Don't speak on nothing, gotta do no crip and gotta go or nothing, nigga. You, 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 you fucking with God or you back on this gang shit? Cause we, you know, my job is to make sure we don't do no straddling the fence. I don't do that. I don't mind you being with God, but I ain't lay my flag down. But anyway, to make the long story short on that, the nigga goddamn me. Another nigga came to me that was another nigga been there 16 years, R.I.P. to KB. He died on Ferguson. Didn't get to make it home. Glenn Garden, Hardhead, Fofo, KB, you know what I'm saying, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, y'all can look him up. Square business nigga, he was the truth. Uh, he said, he said, person, did uh, Cuz tell you about the new nigga from Fort Worth? Yeah, we both from Fort Worth, the Fort Worth nigga. She said, yeah, cuz, then they gotta go, cuz. Damn, you the second nigga said he gotta go for what? Said this nigga didn't open up some cold cases. He did what? He said, cuz, that nigga can't stay over here. So word on the street, the new nigga was looking for me. 
The new nigga looking for me. Yeah, the new crib nigga got here now. I had two niggas run up on this nigga me saying the nigga got to go. And I seen everybody was liking the nigga when he got here. And, and now uh, he got to see person, you know, because some of the higher archies didn't get put a bad, you know, jacket on his back. And it's a snitch jacket. Still snitch. So the nigga was trying to catch up to me. So when the nigga got ready to catch up to me, uh, he just said, Perks, I need to holler at you. I said, yeah, I got to holler at you too, man. Uh, and right off the rip, he named the two niggas that said something to me. He said, yeah, them two niggas right there on some bullshit. Cause don't listen to them niggas, man. I got to talk to you about something. I said, yeah, come out the tonight, man. Find out what the fuck going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you seem like a cool kid. Everybody fucking with you. You understand? He said, yeah, them, niggas, them two niggas right there on some bullshit. Cause. Yeah. He said, and then, for some reason, I was believing this nigga. I don't know why. But uh, come to find out what them niggas know, you know, there's a lot of things that run around the city that don't supposed to be talked about because a lot of more niggas get some more time added to their time. You hear me? Uh. But anyway, the nigga didn't tell it on the nigga. So the nigga came outside. He was already up in the air. Them two niggas from forward, they was scrubbed. Them niggas, one been there 14, other one been there 16. Them niggas fight hard and hope. Uh. And they was coming after them. My first time really seeing them two niggas right there, like on some turn up. But the nigga that they talking about is a highly respected nigga. So we had a nigga named Shout to Pilo, Pilo Dave Street HHCGs over there. Dave Street Kid Gang got him a light citizen on Ferguson. Everybody know he stomped down killer. But anyway, uh, Pilo came up. They said, "Person, y'all don't do it." Now, well, I didn't got orders. If I work for uh, if um. You know, if my manager is, is Herb, it Big Ant, if I got to go holler at Big Ant, see, one thing about Big Ant, when he called, it ain't nothing to be talked about. See, one thing I always did as a, as a real nigga, if Ant say this is what's going on, I don't question, I just handle my job. I don't know what you and Ant got going on. I'm just here for one thing, my job. <laughs> what is your job? Whatever Ant told me to do. Uh, I mean, it's, it, it, it might not look good on you, though. It's pretty good. It really finna get ugly because they didn't put a bad motherfucker on you. That's what you don't know. Uh, pop that nigga. Shit. Well, when it come from him, one thing I don't do, I don't I don't second guess the nigga and I don't question the nigga creeping. I take their word for what it's worth and, uh, nigga, you pop. <laughs> Shit. But anyway, this nigga right here came out there and everybody went to gather him. So I went to my partner, said, said, I said, man, they say the new nigga just got here. What's up? He said, Percy, I don't know, man. I said, well, keep the other two crib niggas hiding there. They acting like, you no, know, he got to go. He said, man, just see what the nigga got to say. Now I'm talking to the head, head crib nigga, because this shit that made it to the higher court. He said, see what the nigga got to say, man. But, uh, so happened when, um, uh, that nigga came after, he was square business. And, uh, these two niggas here, shit, they didn't give him time to say a motherfucking thing. <laughs> I swear to God, um, uh, that nigga say, cuz, you know what you did. You know what you did. And they say, man, what you talking? That nigga came to discuss something. Them niggas didn't come to do no talking. When he said that twice, he said, man, you know what you did. Nigga, you know what you did. You know? And then they came up and said, man, man, what are you saying? What you trying to say out here? Bitch, oh, and there it went. Uh, before you know it, there was about 16 niggas on that one nigga. Uh, the word was to kill the nigga. Uh. Thought we did that. <laughs> the nigga still had movement. Uh. When Osini had movement, he ran up to the gate to the boss, to the to, 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 to the officer for help, you know. I peeped out and said, oh shit, the nigga done got up. Nigga, he up. Oh, he, oh, he was supposed to be dead after that. Yeah, he was left for dead. Yeah, we left that nigga for dead on the backyard that day. Uh, I don't know where his angel came from, but I knew that was it. I heard when he took that lad, <gasps> when niggas was kicking him all in his stomach, in his face, in his side, and stomping his head and shit. Niggas jumping off top of the weight bench, just, bitch. Yeah, niggas die, stealing off on him, slow as they can, just to make sure they break something every time they hit him. Yeah, everybody participated, you know, by the time they found out the handprints on that nigga, that didn't, shit. They never figured that one out. It's too many. M matched in. Too much D. The blood is just, The blood be still blue when they, when they finish. But anyway, the nigga ran up to the officer gate, started saying, he said, Come on. I said, Oh, man, he not done. Come on, y'all. Shit. And I ran up on the nigga to, to finish him off. And I never forget. And he said, Purse, 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 purse. 
She started doing hair and that nigga face was fucked all up. He said, man, please, man, please, just let me live, man. Please let me live. I swear, I, I didn't snitch on nobody. I got a life sentence, man. I got a life sentence, bro. That's what I came to tell you. My paperwork would be here. So let me tell you, snitch is something. Everywhere you go, you got to have a paperwork. It's like having a fucking monitor on your leg, bitch. And it's called your paperwork. And I ain't talking about from no whole ass officers, nigga. It better be somebody that wrote your motherfucking statement down on your paperwork. And this is your motherfucking paperwork, nigga. It's going to be just like this. Fold it up in your motherfucking pocket. At all motherfucking time, bitch. This is like a fucking credit card to a snitch. Hello! And guess what? Believe me, shit that y'all don't know, niggas know that I know. They keep, gotta keep this on them. Get caught without, ain't talking about pulled over by the police, dumbass niggas. Get caught without your paperwork. Snitches. Get caught without your paperwork. Yeah, nah, I ain't been walking around with no goddamn paper. But anyway, man, uh, make a long story short, we went to kill a nigga and the nigga said, Percy, uh, I ain't never snitched on nobody. And couldn't find out he had a life sentence. And then it dawned on me, wait a minute. How the fuck he got a life sentence? And, and, and these niggas don't. He said they was on the same case low. He tried to explain his case, but come to find out at the end of that story, but I ain't gonna go into detail because it had to get it got gangsta out here in the world when I came home on that shit. But anyway, uh, come to find out that nigga was a snitch. Uh. Tell us from a crib, nigga, I ran into a snitch on 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 on. On Lindsay unit, white boy, white boy, big old tall white boy, about like six five, big old snitching motherfucker. You understand? Go tell something like a motherfucker. Don't give a damn. He wasn't a mopping broom motherfucker. Walk around like they just got it good. Yeah, I just seen him say, "Don't throw that on the floor, man." And that needs to tell it on niggas like it wasn't shit. Niggas get in jail, get 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 under these police wings and think that they run shit. But anyway, tell from a crypt that same white boy ended up on fucking up. Because he walking around, you know, he had the good job, and he tended on everybody, get everybody locked up. One day, a nigga told it on him. <laughs> Got his bitch out, locked up, and guess what, where he landed in? Hey, goddamn. <laughs> hey, y'all ever seen a, sp a fly get caught on a car wheel? Shit, that's where he landed. I said, look at this motherfucker, that's the white boy. That's that white boy, that's that white boy be tending on every motherfucker. You a snitch. Let me tell you about snitches, bitches. They get stitches for real. I just seen a piece of clip on uh, urban politicians that began just told me a while ago and they said they had a nigga with the tattoos across his motherfucking head. Well he had to sit there like a whole ass nigga. Cause you never tell somebody to tap to it. You don't stamp it on that nigga. You got to take your time. And a nigga gotta be a bitch ass nigga knowing what the fuck he getting on his fucking head as a tattoo and sit there and let them spell that many letters. In his motherfucking face, nigga. That's a hoe for real. He gonna be still. He gonna sit there and suck dick, take dick in the ass, and he look like he a hard nigga. Until they find out you a snitch, nigga. Snitch nigga gonna always get fucked. I see a lot of snitch niggas walking around with diapers on. Ask me why, Herb. Why? They ain't got their ass knocked out. They fucked the shit out of them stitches. Come in there, snitch, snitch. They gonna knock y'all niggas down. Y'all be the most vulnerable, but I don't give a fuck who you is. You don't get tired of going places, trying to run, trying to hide. Nothing. Your lady gonna put you over there with a place where everybody over there is doing some snitching. White boy came in that motherfucker and one of the guards that used to work with the white boy. You know, he tried to stood up on me in front of the guard. I said, white boy is a whole ho, man. You a whole ho, white boy. You understand me? So what? the guards come in and say, hey, I ain't no motherfucking ho. Ain't you no know, motherfucking hoe. Oh, you getting smart. Oh, you doing that because the law standing right here. Bitch, hoe ass, fuck this law. And I take off on him. I take off on him right in front of the police office. He's like, God damn. The law said, Perch, Demers, Demers. Demers, come on, Demers. Get, get on back in your cell. Get, yeah, you better tell that hoe something. Bitch ass nigga. Them laws know Percy fucked up. Demers, go, go back in your house, Demers. Damn. Lock, the, lock cell 10. Shit. Leave that motherfucker locked up. <laughs> Don't quit letting Demerson out. Why do y'all let him just like let the pit bull out run around his mouth? You know he fucked up. But see, when he ain't fucked up, y'all gotta go home. This white boy still gonna be here. Hello. The more of that story, y'all niggas tell shit. You're gonna end up giving up that tail, bitch. Because a hoe can't tell. Boss. Now, recently, man, it was a video that was going viral online that I seen where a dude was being interrogated. 
by Sally's. They inside the cell. Mm -hmm. He's sitting there standing there explaining himself on some pretty uh stuff that I don't agree with myself. The blood, attempted rape, and two sexual count, two counts of sexual battery. Now explain the situation for me, doggy. All right, so I'm I'm walking outside. And I go into this building called the Bow House, and there's uh filling my paperwork. She told me to sign in, so I signed in uh to go to the bathroom but i went to the bathroom went upstairs after i went to the bathroom forgot i was still supposed to be signed in at a time limit and uh she came up there and she's talking about you can't be in here and stuff like that okay. and so she was telling me i can't be in there i got pissed off i ran up on her and grabbed her and threw her to the ground how you do it i just came she was like standing sideways i came up and grabbed her like that and threw it to the ground and then uh I was sitting there choking her because she was pissing me off and I was drunk. I was choking her and she pretended to pass out. I didn't know she pretended to pass out, but she did pass out. So I was about to get off the top of her, and but I, did, I, didn't, I didn't get off the top of her just yet. I just humped her. Then I, I, just, what? I just humped her. You was humping her? You no, was humping her? Yeah, I just humped her one time. My hips went up once and went down once. With that tattoo over there, you know? It's a diamond. It's a diamond. It does up. UFC or meaning? All right, but so, so what happened after that? All right, I humped her, and then somebody came up to the door. Mm -hmm. So what's up with your other mm -hmm. What happened? What happened when somebody came to the door? Uh, when she came, when people came to the door, I see him over there. So I was like, and hopped up the top of her, and then she got took off running out the hallway or out the gym. The police came, and the police came after that. You know, if you queue up, blood. Myself that hey, whatever happened to you when you do stuff like that, that's what happened to you. Huh. But it get real enough. And that's I want to tell them the real when you have to explain, hey, you took advantage of a woman, got on top of her children, anything like that. What happens when things like this right here happen? What they gonna do to you? Cause you might not be a nigga that did that, but you locked up with somebody who did that. How everybody around gonna handle them? Let's go, man. Let's go out. Let's go. Let's shout out to Shout Shake Redemption, man. <laughs> shout out, shout out to Shout Shake Redemption, man. I learned one thing on that movie. We used to go fishing. I didn't have nothing to do in prison. I didn't fuck with punks. I, I, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't play spades, and my spade game was trash. I, I could, you know, but I was a good chess player. And niggas didn't know how to play this, so I was. I did a lot of lonely time taking around some good white boys. You know, hey, you play? Yeah, I play. Shit, let's go, white boys. You got something to do now. You know, uh, we always fish for the new niggas. We don't give a fuck who you is, nigga. That kind of jacket, see, a nigga that sit around, you know, um, my job, I had a partner's name with Pig. Shout out to Pig Eastwood, man. What me and Pig used to do, we made, my time was, um, TV. It was like I watched TV all day. And what was TV? The people around me. We made them niggas the characters. We made them niggas everything. We made them niggas the characters. We made them niggas. We had names for everybody around there. And, uh, when we get a nigga in there, uh, I had a, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, a sarcastic way of fishing niggas in. I you know, Sandy, what's up, I'm when, you, when you get here? I just got here, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. What you do, dude? <laughs> what you do to get in here? Oh, man. Yeah, I had no shit at all. I'm running from the laws and shit, man. I had, you know, try to get away from the police, man. Oh, what was you running for? Oh, no. Uh. You know, I had ran a red light, man. I kept trying to go, man, quit lying, man. What you in there for now, man? Ain't nobody gonna say shit. What you... Oh, you got one of them cases. What's we'll, we'll say? Chill out. Come on. Come talk to me real quick. What, what you did, Johnson? Oh, man, I was at this girl house, man. And the girl, you know, she, you know, I seen in the booty shorts, you know, in the gym. You know, I just, you know, went, you know, the booty shorts in the gym, they how old was she, nigga? She, you no, know, she was, um, her mom was bringing her up there to um, practice in the gym. <laughs> oh. That's what you mean when you say you were shooting in the gym. Okay. Shooting your shot. <laughs> At the little girl in the gym. 
Okay. And these bitch motherfuckers sit here and Chris your ass. Yeah. <laughs> you walked in on Mr. Chris. Oh, this, uh, Chris, Mr. Me was, you was here to meet a 14 year old who? That's what you was in there doing, yeah? and niggas were in there, let me tell y'all about them. They so scared because where they at and the way you approach these nigga with shit, like me, like that nigga you was talking to, I'm just like that nigga. I'm a fish, because guess what? I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't got nothing but time on my hand. I'm finna sit here and, and, and watch TV. <laughs> Who the TV? This nigga right here, cuz, so tell the truth what you did. Man, you know, man, I'm telling you, nigga, man, I already know what you did, cuz. You ain't got, then you do it, then you do it. I know it. I knew it, God damn it, you did it. Huh. So you about, you say you about the bottle of wine at 11 o'clock? <laughs> oh, you know you done fucked up, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You know you done fucked up, don't you? That mean these niggas get in there and they get so scared and comfortable and they'll tell what they did. That dumb ass nigga, I, I humped on the one. Man, you finna get your ass beat. Somebody's finna hump on you two or three times. I ain't talking about no one hump either. I said two or three times. That means he gonna get him a time. He gonna get a time. And that nigga gonna get a time. Cause you just open the door for that. Niggas don't even know. They make they say so. And you could be talking to the weakest nigga in that bitch. But guess what? The weakest nigga in that hoe. Once you present yourself as a child molester, a rapist, a fun, some shit like that. Uh, you have just become prey. Nigga, you Bambi. They threw Bambi in the motherfucking lines then. <laughs> Not Daniel, no. Bambi, nigga, in the lines, D. <laughs> yeah, yeah, food. Food, don't give a fuck who you is. And nigga be sitting there talking, man, and you ought to see it, man. Let's get down, let me cut, let me cut a little deep on Ant-Man. Ant-Man, it's, it's sad to see what happened to them niggas, though. How you young niggas be walking around with a diaper on. Asshole, wide open. Them niggas beating the shit out, you scared to tell it? You ain't gonna say nothing? And niggas gonna hold you in their house and make you a straight hoe. And won't nobody even know what you in that house doing. They be like, go down, they go down. Oh, I'll be up there. Nah, go in the house, bitch. These niggas say, you got niggas in there talk to these niggas like they really hoes. I be sitting there like, man, he nigga. I be cutting my eyes off. A lot of niggas talking to that nigga, man. Got that nigga all up on the corner, you know, bitch ass nigga, don't you ever hoe ass nigga. Men, you know what I'm talking about? I didn't did this, I did this, I did. And it's easy to catch them. They vulnerable. You, you know, you, 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 don't, you don't snatch the rope on them. You just, got him, I got him, I got him. Just chit chit, don't you? ain't gonna take him long. <laughs> Roll his ass in real slow. He, you know. now come on in here, come on in. Pat him on his come on. Uh, we had a thing that we called going fishing that night. And we would yell through the cell, you know, hey, look at our niggas. Uh, cuz who you selling in? Who you new selling up that cake? Uh, what's your name, man? Rock. Rock? Uh, damn, Rock got me rocked up down here right now talking like that. Tell me, say it again. We got Rock. He gonna holler at you. Yeah! Oh, got one. Rock on. Look out, rock, rock, rock me. Can I rock you out? Can I rock you tonight, rock? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, say, rock, quit yelling through the balls like that, man. Nigga, you know, one thing about the nigga that's sitting up under you, he ain't going to say nothing. But one thing you don't know, they getting his ass hard in the motherfucker on that bottom buck talking to you like that. Because he know that you ain't a man now. He just peeped it out when you didn't say nothing the first motherfucking time. And guess what you said he do? He feeding. Did you hear what he said? Rock, they just asked you. They want you, Rock. They want you again. Look out, Rock! <laughs> that's, how nigga call, that's how they call you the next day. <laughs> Look out, Rock! Yeah! You coming to the gym tonight? Sure! Man, you hear your city down there, man, don't go to that gym. Go to that gym, man, you go to that gym, man. You know niggas trying to, trying to, you know, fuck with you. And Rocky ain't man enough to say, man, what do you mean trying to fuck with me? Oh, okay. He don't know his city, the, the most worst predator there is on the motherfucking unit. He's sitting here, goddamn it, and he just, you know, he finessing, but he's doing more ear husband than anything. You better shut up over the hoe. 
But anyway, uh, sad that when you young niggas get in there, y'all going to tell all your business to them niggas that you think your homeboys that you sitting outside of. Let me get herb. Let me give herb another piece of game. It's a lot of niggas coming this motherfucker herb, but they put them in the cell with these niggas, and these niggas think them niggas cool, and them niggas be really, really informants. Them niggas over a case and you be in trial and they be saying we're going to go on the court. They got sales built for you niggas. They'll put you and they put them on the special floor. We need to find out some information before we put them in population. And when he go in that bitch, this bitch is like he in population. Dumbass. No, this ain't population. This when they find out information. <laughs> this the information block. Every cell is about information. Everybody know who's who and everybody know who's working on whoever they got to work on and whoever we working on is a lot of Sally. Oh, oh, T Terry, you got a new Sally. Oh, Terry gonna run meet you at the door. Hey, come on in with your mattress. Help you on in there. Welcome to the block. Make you comfortable in the motherfucker. Cause one thing they know about is how to mentally get in your head. How do I mentally get in your head? Fuck it, nigga, you locked up. You looking for a friend and somebody to talk to. Well, guess who that is? Terry. Say, you better shut up, ho. Uh, Terry is the man. You understand me? Terry meets you at the door. He greets you. You come in the cell. Man, you good? You in there? Yeah, man. Say, man, just chill out in here. Don't, don't worry about nothing. Just call, get your bags and lay low, man, while you're in here. Do your time. I'll rock with you. Hey, where, where you from? Oh, man, I'm from Jackson. Then he comes. Well, all right, Jackson? Yeah, man, I got people down in Jackson. You know any um, you know, you know, the little road that go that way on on what's it called on? On, on Manshaw. Yeah, Manshaw. You know where Manshaw is? Yeah. I had a cousin stay down there on Manshaw. And down that little you know, I got people on Manshaw too, you do? Well, you know, down on that little but you know, it, you know any who you know on Manshaw? You know Jenny, can oh Jenny I don't, I don't, don't know this motherfucker don't know nobody. He not already fished that nigga from, from down the street to the road to his house to Jenny. Yeah, Jenny, that's my friend now, man. I mean, I, I was down there with um, but, 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 um, um, the one that drives the green truck. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. He just drives saying shit. Now this nigga comfortable. So what, so what you do, guy? Fuck you get in there? Man, fuck that shit. I know, man. We all got those cases. See, what well, he don't know, Terry was informed about your case before you got there. Well, you don't know, Terry not already read your paperwork, know what the action, you know what he's fishing for. Terry is very psychologic and good at what he's doing. If Terry keeps doing what he's doing, he get three days added off his time in the county every day. And don't let him turn in some bonus work, uh, like catching him a fish like you and that motherfucker. And that is. Well, anyway, Terry, and hey, well, man, I'm saying, man, relax. Well, tonight I'll talk about it. We talk about it for bread now. You want some spread? I got chips, Cheetos, you know, in my locker, whatever you need. You home? He just got there. He don't know no better. This motherfucker just came in the goddamn tank. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he know, he know, she know. He done did some fucked up shit. Don't nobody know yet what he did but him and the judge that booked him in. <laughs> That's it. And he, you know, the family don't fuck with him. He just got caught raping little Keisha. Yeah. So what? He raped little Keisha. Who was little Keisha? Oh, that's his daughter. Yeah. Oh, his daughter. Yeah. Yeah, no. His seven year old daughter. Well, what? No. But right now, we can't prove because Keisha's traumatized. She's not saying anything, but mom knows what the fuck's going on. This son of a bitch, but they got enough evidence, you know, after they did the little panty test and the little rake. Yeah, this whole. They ain't found semen, so bitch, and you sitting in here now. Okay, well, I got him in the cell. That's what Terry's fishing for, the truth. You understand me? And uh, come back in the cell. He tell Terry, hey, look at Jim, you good? No, no, you get you something to eat? Yeah, man, I'm full, feeling good, baby. Great, great, great. You know, so, so, say, but, you know, I know what it's like, man. I know what it's like. Oh, shit. I'm in here too for the same shit. You know, they put us in the cell together because we're compatible. With, like what that mean? You know, we, we both got the same kind of cases. Well, you don't know Terry don't got a motherfucking thing. <laughs> you understand? He's fishing. Oh, Dumbo down here. Uh, he, right now he's looking like uh, that motherfucking pigeon that used to be on uh, uh, Long John Silver Show. He ready to talk like a motherfucker. Because he need help, guidance. You know, they're offering you know, me on. Um, Hundred years. <gasps> what? He's breaking him. Man, he's breaking the nigga going down because he know what he did is true. But we need to get that in the courtroom. So what they don't know, they'll put these niggas around these type of niggas. 
And then niggas ain't this ain't no three more days. Yeah, man, I'm just sorry. I fucked up. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, they gonna hide you. Got it. Got it. Cause what he didn't know, uh, this cell been tapped. <laughs> they can hear everything you send this motherfucker all the way to the picket. Uh, the front desk off. All these walls, all these motherfuckers are Bluetooth and motherfucking on. Uh, uh, rearrange. They can hear every fucking thing you say. That's what they were looking for. Uh, now seeing the regular population. You come in this day, hey, um, but you pack it up. You, you being moved. Good day. Then you go get moved. A, a couple, six months go by and uh, you feel like your case is beating everything. Then you go to court. And guess who walks in to testify? It look like Terry. You gotta be bullshit. He got on a suit and tie. Oh, Terry. Uh, it's 24 hours in. <laughs> Not six months like y'all be doing. You understand me? He just, you know, a week in. We gonna call him a week in. And they do weeks in. Not a whole month, 28 days. Yeah. Go in and stay for a week and get with fish for the information. They just let them out. They're informants. That's their job. You know, get sued in, booked in, and gone down into the cell. Sit in there and do your little time. Get you a book. And get your information that we need. We need that information. We need that information. Without the information, uh, you're going to lose your job sitting here bullshit. You hear what I'm saying? But, uh, I'm saying that to say this. I hope I woke up a lot of guys on this one because I'm going to let you niggas know. It's a whole bunch of informants in that jail. Uh, yo, y'all niggas think snitching out here is on some what? <clears throat> Nigga, what? Nigga, oh, y'all think prison is prison. It's more snitches in prison. No, 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 no. You know, you, you saying to yourself, nigga, how can he be a snitch in prison? <sighs> well, because he's scared. He telling on what's going on in that motherfucker because he can't handle it. He can't handle niggas running him down and beating him down and, and, and hogging him and taking shit. They, he trying to tell it. Uh, but they trap these guys and they get these guys that he said and these guys go to court and find out that the same nigga that was in your cell with you, the same nigga that uh, wrote a statement on you. Guess why they doing it? And to get less time off their sentence. Yeah. They'll put them in there. The more that you get, you know, we can take some off for you. know, Just keep working in these cells. You good. Shit. There was a situation, man, that happened out in Camden County, Georgia, man. And we just spoke on this before, how these guards would get dying on you up in there. Oh, no yeah. mercy. No no doubt. <laughs> right unit, wrong place, right, right time, wherever. Right. You rub them the wrong way, right. they low-key make the rules in there. And people don't nah. be believing you sometimes when you say this type of stuff, see, uh, OG. See. I got to tell them the real. You know, you see the comments sometimes, you lying, yeah. you exaggerating. <laughs> but a story popped out. Right. This right here. A lot of litigation. And some things you cannot explain. You can't explain how middle-aged men go inside a jail with no injuries and, and look like somebody sitting through a gauntlet. Um, and those stories are coming out, you know, out of fear of retaliation. A lot of those people is afraid. Uh, but it's not just it's not it's not just a a bad apple, it's a bad apple orchard. You ain't gotta believe me. Hey. I think it. So you see how they worked on them. Right, right. Tell them the real. The real. You messing up out of here. You crashing out. Some people know, hey, I'm willing to face that. Yeah. They cool with it. They understand. Then some of them, they don't know. They ain't been in there yet. Hmm. Tell them how they go and how them guards to do you. Say, uh, dirty. Uh, dirty as a pig pen. Uh, tell us my crib, man. Right here on Ferguson Union. I was on Ferguson, man. I came home and I read some reports. I was doing my homework. And we got to think that side tell, don't you know the law is so crooked, man? Listen, man. Uh, uh, dang, dang, dang. And I'm glad, I'm glad you brought it up. I, I don't mean to jump ship or nothing, but we don't stay the subject because I just got chills. Uh, the laws, there's some laws that work in there, y'all. Uh, that's more. Let me get y'all some game. Uh, you can see it's a bar. They get a bar on their arm. Um. You know, every five years they get a bar right there on their shirt. And you can tell the law what type of person he is by the balls on his shirt. And then you got laws with balls, ball. It's five years, you get one ball for every five years you're there. Every five years you get a ball. I'm looking at the nigga's shirt, he got balls. Man, how the fuck? That, and that lets you know how much time they've been doing. Uh, let me get y'all some game, man. People that go to work and they keep their jobs like that, man, that's been working there for years and centuries, guess what? They more institutionalized than the niggas that's in there. 
Uh, sometimes they get to see a lot of people go home. Sometimes, uh, they get to see people die in that motherfucker. Uh, but them people that working in there, uh, they bred that way. I know families are bred in this shit. I know they teach these people that y'all are just like animals. Keep them in control. We fuck who's in it. If it got on white, bitch, that ain't right. That's what we have to. Anything that ain't white. I asked one last time, man, you show sure act like you racist. He said, I am racist, Percy. I'm fucking racist. Everybody listen up. Why he wants, Mr. Jefferson wants to bring up some shit. I am fucking racist. I don't like nothing in white. Shit. Well, that's us. Everybody got, what about the whites in white? You don't hurt too good, do you, Mr. Jefferson? He said he presents, he don't like nothing in white. And that's the people that, what's all we got? That's the TDC colors, white, <laughs> shit. He said he don't like, he's racist. That mean, let me tell y'all something. When he said that, that opened my eyes that for him to think that they bred that way. They made that way. They don't give a fuck about you. The uniform is what controls the system. If you ain't got their colors on, you ain't wearing that, that, uh, that slavery confederate uniform with the blue line going down the side that they still wear today in this prison system that need to be changed. You know, giving motherfuckers laptops and motherfucking iPads and tablets and shit, change them confederate ass uniforms y'all got on. The same gray that they fought in the war in with the blue stripe down the side of the goddamn pants. They took, it used to have a confederate flag on this side and one. These laws are fucked up. Let me tell y'all, son, I'm saying this to say this, man. They don't give a fuck about you niggas. Excuse me. Black men. <coughs> Boy. <coughs> don't, don't give nothing. Essays. Most definitely don't give a fuck. You know. They, they, they do, man, they do the black and Hispanic race so dirty down there. You wouldn't fucking believe it. Uh. One thing I can say about the Hispanic mother, people, um, guys down there, they at least are, uh, fuck, uh, you know. One of them motherfuckers, they'll just take a chance, you know. You walking that motherfucker away, that's something to come out of that. Ah, bitch, that motherfucker, fuck, God damn, what's wrong with cuz? No, that law had been fucking with him. Oh, that law been fucking with him. Every day he fucking with him, man. He just tired of it, man. He's tired. Man, fuck that poop dog. Get that fucking bitch out of here, man. Get the whole out of here. Bummer those go. Shit. Motherfucker, they don't give a fuck. Shit, niggas sit there and take some abuse. But the thing is, them laws will get you in there. Y'all look this up. Y'all think I'm lying. It was a law on Ferguson used to starve a nigga for sexual favors. Wouldn't let him eat. Hello. They let Ant know I'm still on track. He used to starve him, leave him in the cell. Nigga wouldn't get a nigga shit to eat. Until he was sucking the dick. You know why? Because that law is more institutionalized than the motherfuckers that's in the world. You got laws in that bitch that's sick minded because they in this motherfucker. You got laws that come in that bitch and bring all they troubles from home. Bitch didn't give me no pussy and fuck these hoes. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Go sit down, son of a bitch. Be like, damn, what's wrong with Mr. Sutton Sutton at work today? He bad something to happen at home. Uh, Sometimes they can get away with that shit. Come and take it out on your ass. Pissed off, man. Wife in for me. Shut the fuck up talking to me. Nigga, go to your cell. But there was a law in Ferguson starving a nigga out for sexual favors. Wouldn't feed this man. But he did some sexual for him to eat. You know. You know. That's some bullshit. But at the same time, shit. That's the bullshit they be doing. Keep your bitch ass out the bullshit. See, if you stay out the bullshit, you won't look like the bullshit. You know what I'm That's bullshit right there. <laughs> you hear me? Real talk. Real talk, man. Uh, I learned one thing, man. Uh, it's, it's, it's a thing called solitary confinement, and they, they assign a certain type of person or police to work in these type of places. You got to be real, real strong. You know, you got some laws, but America, they don't want to work nowhere but solitary. I don't want. I don't want to work population. Fuck some population. They can't fuck population. They want solitary. Man, them the most controlled, uh, traumatized people, uh, uh, incarcerated, uh, mentally motherfuckers there is in the world. They fucked up, and guess what? They gotta take care of you.
Let me tell you the, the, what I'm saying when I say that. You get in that motherfucker like these celebrity-ass niggas. See, one thing I'm telling you about these celebrity niggas, they don't get to do their time in peace. Yeah, the Pooh Shikes, like, you know, the, the Snoop Dogg and whoever go, and the Tupacs and the Mike Tysons and the uh, O.J. Simpsons and the, uh, they don't get to do their time with you niggas. They got to do their time back there with the crazy folks. Yeah, they don't get to go to population. Uh, and so therefore, they got to deal with the crazy laws that work back there. That law might don't like you. Every time you get a trade, nigga, you got something missing on it. Say, man, what happened to my cornbread? Slam the little tray. Whatever's on that muffin, they slide in that little hole, and you got to put it out and get it. And close that door, the little lock. They don't open the whole door. It's just a little old side, little old bean shoot. They open it up, you look down in there, and they slide the tray in it. You grab your tray, when that tray comes, that be slammed. You be like, hey, 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 where is hey? Can't nobody hear you beating. They know ain't shit on that motherfucker. Motherfucker spit in your food. And then I'll tell you, nigga, pull shit all on your foot. Come on, man. It's some, it's some fucked up laws, man. It's some fucked up human beings in this world, man. And they working in the judicial. It's a lot of, it's a lot of um, help mail. <laughs> It goes out every week. Hell, they doing this on this unit. Hell, they doing us bad over here. Hell, bitch, we don't get the jump rope over here. Hell, we don't need to get no ice water over here. Hell, they beating our ass over here. Hell, they just killed another nigga down the hall. Hell, they just gassed my home until he couldn't even breathe no more. He had ass when they sprayed all tear gas in the cell. Hell. They just run the dudes for, for one man and jumped on him with the Ninja Turtle badge and then ran him down the hall. Hell! They just got a nigga that was on the top tier. They were fighting, and somehow he ended up flipping and falling off. He was getting into it with a law. Hell! Shit. Nigga, you run into all type of shit in that motherfucker. Uh. Unhumanity. Fuck you talking about, niggas? Uh. Like Ant say. Youngsters, please. Stay at that place, man. That ain't the place to be. And, Boys. And also, real, real quick, man, another thing I want you to tap on real quick was how, mm. man, sometimes they get in here and they work with the inmates. Be part of a gang or just help the gang out and choose a side. Tell them how they'll get on with that. No cap. Tell them crib. I was on Ferguson one time. One of my partners, you know, hit me on to the loud. No, no loud. Some loud, they, like he and say, uh, they don't fuck with you. You got some laws that's you know, on the Crip side. You got some laws that, that's on the blood side. Don't fuck with no Crip niggas. Uh. Them laws over there, every law is his own self person, but say, man, uh, they doing time and they got their sides when they get in there. Uh, you know, once they get chosen and they ride with they who they who they want to fuck with, they gonna know who not to fuck with. Some gang will be like, oh, that's Anthony and Boss Lady right there. You know, don't fuck with us. That's, that's, that's Anthony and Boss Lady. And then they already know if there's any them boss lady shit, she ain't gonna. You better not say nothing to that lady. Bitch gonna write you up, send you to jail. <laughs> he going to jail. Got another one fair for because you can't do what Ant do with the boss lady. Cause why? These motherfuckers just as of course they only fuck with certain people. They got their picks. Huh? Tell us from a crib, man. I had niggas from Hollywood. Shout out to my nigga Nate boy. And Nate boy and these other niggas, they used to pimp the hoes. Like, they, they wanted a bitch. And they're taking, they going to pimp them a bitch. I said, but Nate had a goddamn problem. Nate was fucked up in the head. The bitch come to work one day and Nate jump on the hoe. <laughs> now, how's you going to explain to the people at work she got slapped, she got slapped, got slapped in the face? And she got a black eye to jump. Because she just is part of the system just like they is. You hear? That, that, that's, that's, that's prison pussy. It was it black she wrote, they don't give a fuck what them hoes look like, boy. Y'all just don't know. Them hoes get tired of seeing dick on that motherfucker. They just <laughs> How just leave them niggas with no clothes on that motherfucker. You hear me? Let me tell y'all something. It be the same bitch you wouldn't say nothing in the grocery store to. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. shit. See that motherfucker in jail? That motherfucker. Oh, damn. Follow that follow that big okay. But now you wanna look. But anyway, um, now nah, and you right, man. It, it's sad, man. Uh, them laws and that motherfucker, they they don't um, uh, they blend in, man. It, it's, it's a habit. They they get in where they fit in. They work there every day. They gotta come to them doors and deal with these 
attitudes in it, but the sad thing about it, they got to be on their shit. Hey, you talking about? They got to be on their shit. And they don't know some niggas in that motherfucker just strive waiting on that certain motherfucker to come to work. This bitch come here. I'm, oh, this her working today? Oh, for the kids, oh, hell. You got a nigga, I seen her grab their cup and call me, and she got there. Yeah, uh-huh. You know? I seen Laos call my niggas out, man. One of my Laos came, he said, look at that person. He said, girl, tell your little homie, leave me alone, cuz. I said, well, nigga, see what you waiting on, nigga. He said, I'm just letting you know before we go down, cuz. Tell your little homie, leave me alone, man. Shout out to my nigga, Seth said. <laughs> little Seth said. Tell from a crib I had a lot. You know, like you say, they pick their own side who they fuck with. But they know how to fuck around. When you been in the system long enough, they just like the inmates. And they gonna come and do respect the game. Who I need to talk to about this over here? Yeah, bitch, because y'all know y'all don't run shit. We let y'all go home every day. Here you talking about when we decide you don't want to go home today, guess what? You're not going home today. Here you talking about. But anyway, he can't. He said, when your little partners keep fucking with me, man, who? He said, the little nigga on Sid said. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> Sid said is on. Uh, uh. he's, 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 the, he's the black youngster of the clique. You hear She. He the black youngster of the clique. He ain't. So I can't, I can't say, say, look at say, say, you know, he, he's just hard to talk to. The nigga gonna, hey, nah, man, look, man, hey, hey, tell that hoe, hey, man, say, man, I know and, and you can't get a get right answer out the nigga. But I can deal with say, say, you know, I know, I said, I said, I'll hit you, nigga. Dude, what, what, what up, man? Oh, uh, man, the law say you still fucking, leave that law alone, man, chill out, nigga. Man, oh, what law? What law? Man, you know what law, man. man no, nah, for real, man. I'm tired of this whole shit. He nanny can't tell you something. No, nah, man, I'm, I'm tired of this whole talking on me, man. No, nah, for real, though. Listen. Man, law don't want no trouble. That's why he came to me, says that He's scared of you, man. Chill, man. No, nah, man, I'm tired of this whole thing. This whole thing he got damn me. Cause that man is not locked up with us, man. This man is at work, though. Yeah, damn. Huh? Now, damn, I'm just saying, though. So once they tell from a crib, when the man law comes, he said, man, I don't want to do nothing to your partner. Man, y'all jump, because they know how we get out on first. Which one you law will jump a crib. What? Because they will jump a mess. They will jump a nigga. They'll jump a white boy. Jump a crib y'all want to. Shit, nigga. Y'all already see how that turned out on first. Yeah, everything going on. What? Going to have everybody in the hall on their stomachs, nigga, laying down. That's, more, that's another whole gangster story, nigga. On some real nigga shit. But anyway, man. Uh, the law come to me one day, he said, Percy, I gotta talk to you. I said, man, what's wrong with you now, man? man I told you, man. I just don't want to get jumped on. What's wrong, man? I had to fight your homeboy, say, say. <laughs> so, good, you tell me, see, man, I'm just letting you know, man. Man, what, man, you better put your shirt on before you lose your job. <laughs> I'm about to say it, first of all. <laughs> Shit. I'm letting you know how deep this shit is getting. Yeah. yeah, that's how deep, like you were saying, that's how deep it is in there. Uh, please, man, hurry up, man. Make sure you ain't got no, because they know if you didn't come to work looking like that, you shouldn't have that on you. And it ain't on no paper. It ain't docking down no more. Man, get right. Go clean yourself up, man. Just tell you, man, I don't want to get jumped on. Man, it's loud by like, by like six, seven. Look like he break, big old big motherfucker. But anyway, uh, make a long story short, uh, er, uh. The law when I said my potty didn't show up for the count. He kept fucking up the law's count. They got to make their count. They get paid according to their camp, man. You know, if you keep fucking up camp two or three times, bitch, you don't get fired. You can't count. Your job is just to count one, two, three, four. What the fuck? That's the easiest job in the world. And don't fuck up the camp. Well, Sid said he kept hiding that on the nigga camp, making him fuck the count off. By the time he found the nigga, he told him, man, go on, go in the house, man. I'm locking you down for it. Sid said, told him, no. Bitch, you ain't locking down nothing. So, man, said, man, I'm locking you down. You been fucking up the camp for the last two hours. Got the whole unit. On lockdown, waiting for me to clear camp while you over hiding, playing bullshit, man. Go to your cell, I'm locking you down. I said, I ain't even say you put me in my cell. He said, ain't know what I'm tired of this shit. The nigga had been being humble. He was a cool nigga, too, boss, man. And, you know, he just trying not to get out there. You understand me? Shit. But he just seen one thing you got to learn about when you work in prison, it's just like being in prison. You got to earn your respect. You hear me? You got to earn it. Ain't nobody going to give it to you. There's something you gotta earn. You can't just walk up now, cool. I'm big. You don't give a fuck if you big, ho. Nigga, I'm short, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? Hey, you mean, what the fuck that mean? Size ain't never been shit in the penitentiary. You be them big niggas sucking the dick. And them be the big niggas bent over on their ass and they're, they're taking the dick down there. Them niggas. 
But anyway, when he went to the top row with my nigga, they ended up just squaring it up. He said, ran up on him, little said, ran up on him with that pin attention box and shit. He said, he looked back in the cut, and he waited on him, he pinned and he waited, he waited, he pop, pop. And he slept my little homeboy up there. I said, what? You lying? He said, man, he left sis up there asleep. No, hell no, nigga. Ooh, did he get up, man? Shit. You know, by the time he got up, the man was down there talking to you. Hey, I just did that shit. He said, I'm trying to tell you, man. I was like, why you breathing out hard and shit? I'm like, what the fuck wrong? I don't know what you just did. My partner up there, okay. And he left his ass slump. Let's get some message to you niggas, nigga. Uh, you ain't never too big when you go in there. When you work in there, if you people that happen to work there, please, 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 learn to maintain your sanity. <laughs> Boys. The ones out here crashing out. And they, you know, tough, think they bought it and with it, man. We got to bring them to reality, man. If you end up in there, because some of them got squabbles. They got hands. Right, right. They can punch. They tough. Mm -hmm. All that. They mm -hmm. with it. Mm hmm But certain times you can get the units, man, and extra things come into place as Jeez. weapons and all that. And it get real. Huh. You got to tell them the real what you've yeah. seen, how knives and everything like that come into play against boys. Tell from a crib, man, uh. I come from a nigga where that's all they do is play. I, I was in the day room one time, and uh, I got into it with a HGC nigga, Hoover Gangsta Crip nigga, uh, out of H Town. I never rocked with no Hoover Gangsta nothing. I never knew you put a G in front of it. And me and the nigga got into it. Because I'm a Hoover Crip gang. And he said he was a Hoover Gangsta Crip. What the fuck is that, nigga? What the fuck is a Hoover Gangsta Crip, nigga? And he said, cuz, that's what I'm banging, nigga. I'm, where you from, cuz? From H Town. Cause there ain't no motherfucking Hoover gangster, nothing. You don't put no gangster before this, before this crippin' nigga. What you talking about? Me and the nigga got into it. And so when his partner went down, his partner had a fight one day, and his partner was fighting. His partner was down there fighting some crib niggas, but fighting some blood niggas, and the and the crib nigga helped the blood niggas fight the crib niggas. <laughs> oh, and I told them niggas to pop him. They, you know, they say Cuz jumped in there and he started helping the blood niggas. That's what, what Cuz? Nigga right there? Yeah, Cuz. I say y'all pop that nigga. No, no, right now. I'm not, look, I'm not even moving. I'm just standing right here. Pop him. And they popped him. Red Dean. I'm, yeah. All right, Cuz. When I went back to the block, uh, shout out to Lucky. I ain't gonna put you down, Lucky. He from, he from H-Town. Five dudes who were gangster crib, nigga. Uh, the first nigga I ever bumped his with about that shit. Real, real talk. Now, you other niggas that came after Lucky, between the shit between me and Lucky on Ferguson, uh, y'all niggas was too late. Y'all was too late, niggas. Y'all really, he really, y'all niggas just had the history in the, in the time, the murders in H-Town, you know, for the killings. You understand me? Y'all was doing the life sentences in the times for the Hoover Gangsta Crips. I, I, I didn't have no history on it. I didn't know nothing about it. I told you niggas I've been stuck in forward all my motherfucking life. I never journeyed outside this, so I've been game banging. But anyway, to make a long story short, when I get inside the day room, the nigga, the Hoover Gangster Crip nigga ran and said, yeah, cuz, I need to have I need to have a meeting right now, cuz. On Crip, cuz, on this gangster shit, on this A Tray 7, nigga. I said, what the fuck is that? Didn't he just say? And he said something, what'd he say? A Tray 7, nothing, and what is that? Yeah, it's another shit that what they say in H Town, man. So you need better start talking crib talk. Now that is how they crib down there. But see, my thing, I didn't know how big the crib in the head got in H Town. But anyway, when he went in there, the nigga came to fight me. He said, Say, look at club. He said, Huh? And he said, Say, man, uh, I need to know who called a, who called a call on on, on who against the crib nigga down there, club. And this nigga was, he was on it. He was on it. He was on it. And this is exactly what he did. That nigga said, Say, club, I need to know who made that call on the Hoover gangster down there, club. Well, to be honest with y'all, this fuck nigga already know who did, nigga. I'm the one that called the shots. And I'm the one told him, nigga, you already know I did that. You know what that nigga did? He said, say, man, oh, he said, nigga, you don't, you don't speak on no HGC nigga like that. That's what he told me, man. I looked at the nigga. I said, cuz, fuck some HGC shit like that. That nigga did me like that. That nigga rolled back. That nigga said, whoo. And that nigga swung. As soon as he swung, I ducked him like that. And next thing you know, I went to rush him. That nigga did me just like that. He said, hey, nigga. I said, yeah, nigga. He said, yeah. And I said, what the fuck? My uncle said, don't move, nigga. He got you. Don't move. I said, yeah. He said, yeah, nigga. You don't want to play like I play, do you? I said, yeah, nigga. Put that down. But let me tell y'all something. If I wouldn't have, my partner wouldn't have said nothing, 
I wouldn't have seen that blade. That nigga would have banged my ass up. Ask me how I know. How you know? He already doing two life sentences for murder. He ain't never going home. Why the fuck you thought you bring it to the day room with him? When he's made that call to do what he had to do, he already knew what he was going to do. Peep game. Because he wouldn't have brought it with him. He ain't talking about He wouldn't have had his hand on That nigga tried to steal off on me then, boy, that burn on me. I, I, when I ducked, I, I barely missed the steal. I barely missed that hole. And when I went to fight and come back in, to come in, that nigga had that hole wrapped up, took my pocket. No, person. And he got that, now he got that burn on me. I don't know, I left the hole. This nigga almost had me, I swear. Uh, my thinking wasn't there fast enough. Now, to answer your question. What do I do now when there ain't about no hands right now? Nigga? Oh, that nigga ain't finna fight me. He came to do what he came to do with me. Because he already know what I'm finna do with these, nigga. I'm finna show the fuck out, nigga. He you talking about? I been showing out on this whole thieves. Fuck you talking about, nigga. You already know, bitch. If you don't want to get beat the fuck up in the face. See, one thing about me, my thing, when I fight, I don't fight to knock nobody out. Oh, you knock out all this Mike Tyson at me. I only fight for one reason. That's the fuck a nigga face up. I'm going to knock all you. They're going to look like a nigga can't. I'm just done trying to knot your face. I'm trying to put knots all in between your motherfucking eyes. I just, well, I just like knotting niggas' face up. Beating that shit raggedy. That shit. That, I just look at my work, say, it's my own. Look at my work. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, I'm just saying, he said, he said, yeah. now. When I say, after them, they look at your face, they're going to be like, ooh, yeah. yeah. But guess what? Everybody don't play like that. You hear me? Everybody don't play like that. And guess what that nigga told me? My homeboy said, yeah, nigga, you don't put no knife on no crib, nigga. What you doing, cuz? That nigga say, yeah, in your words. That nigga don't want to play like I play. I never forget that's what that nigga told me. I never, in prison, he said, yeah. He said, nah, and guess what? That nigga did not put that knife down. You hear me? Uh, that nigga meant that. And he was on some niggas. This nigga keep saying something, nigga. I'm just going to go on, you know, I'm already in too deep. Mm. Oh, you already know you is. But I can't, I can't fold my tongue. Like I told him, when you put that down, nigga, you already know what time it is. He said, yeah, I know. I know. You don't want to do what I do, though, don't you? Yeah, you want to play my game, do you, nigga? And that's how he was talking to me. That's exactly how he was doing me. You don't want to play. And I looked at this nigga. This nigga's dead serious. He ain't bullshitting. That nigga ready to use that motherfucker for all meaning. Tells my crib, man, everybody don't fight, niggas. Everybody don't fight. Niggas ain't got time for fighting. Niggas for bullshit, nigga. Niggas, niggas on some grown man shit. Niggas on some niggas with some motherfucking wood. Fuck with me, I kill one of these niggas. And they mean that. From they motherfucking heart. Young niggas, y'all going to fuck with them old niggas. Thing. Them niggas ain't finna fight y'all. They ain't finna embarrass them old niggas. Them niggas been doing time for years. Soon as you walk up with one of them old niggas, they gonna kill you. I swear to God, my right hand, they gonna kill you and sit back in the day room and drink their coffee with their other homeboy like they, I told you y'all niggas leave me alone. Ask me how I know. How you know? Cause a nigga burnt me up like that one time. That's my nigga folks, say Jose, man, uh. I seen nigga, I seen niggas burn niggas up a lot. I seen a lot, of, I seen a lot of burn ups. Yeah. Walk, walk downs, uh, step homes, yeah. uh. Yeah, the knife have been, I seen the knife used in many occasions. Yeah. Uh, I don't fuck with the knife. I'm scared. It's just like a gun to me, shit. I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like if you pull that ass, somebody got to die. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't want to die. That's the game I want to play. Y'all can play that. Me, I just, you know, I just take the black eye and the busted lip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I take that and live and see another day. How about that? Shit. That game, but, uh, yeah, that game has been played. I done been around that game a many times. I've been in riots, homie. You understand me? I done been in rides. Uh, I done been in about three rides, four rides. You know what I'm I ain't seen the blood shit. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, because I'm in a place that's where that shit happens at. I'm in a place where when you do shit like that, where the fuck they gonna see you? <laughs> Back to where you at? Uh, I'm already here. Uh, you got niggas in there that fuck up and ain't never going home. I mean, they could've left in eight years. They came here with eight years since now we got an 80 year since. It's a lot of tricks to get yourself into. And some of them, when they catch you, they don't give a fuck to the system and eat you alive. Yeah, I seen niggas run up on, on niggas and blow holes out in niggas. In the shower and everything, you hear me? Yeah, I seen niggas get gunned down in the shower, ass naked. Yeah, crawling around on that blood like 50 cent in that goddamn movie. You understand me? Yeah, and everybody's just trying to get out the way and get out the bitch. And ain't nobody helping cook.
Uh, prison is a heartless place for anybody, Ant Man. Uh, a humble man like yourself, it'll make you so heartless, you know what I'm saying, man? I'm talking about, man, it's, well, you know, hey, back in the days, uh, that would have fucked me up when I seen it, but now, shit. I just thank God it ain't me. You hear me? And keep, and keep living. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, I'm glad I'm not traumatized to the bullshit no more. You dig what I'm saying? That, that's real talk because um, all that sharpening knives and toothbrushes and, and shit having to live like that. Uh, tell us one quick. Let me give him one more before I go. Tell us one quick, man. Uh, they had a show called back in the day called Soul Train. You know, y'all might not remember that. All right, Pete, to the big home. Don Kinesis, peace. Look. And so, you hear me? You don't even hear niggas say nothing like that no more. You hear me? But anyway, uh, when Don Carnage, you know, when he died, you know what I'm saying? He had this so called Soul Train. And on Soul Train, Soul Train was a time, you know, every, you know, it only comes on for one hour. And then comes on the Tohanto show. Now, to, Tohanto, it, it, it started, I don't know what the fuck had happened, but some of the Tohanto show had started, you know, going off early or something. And I guess they went off and they, they started to take the price, the, 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 no, uh, uh, the time up from the Soul Train. So the Mexican said, you know, he got a new Mexican in. His name was Israel Bonilla. I'll never forget his name. Israel Bonilla and Ruben Ortega. Understand me? And so when they came in, you know, they, these motherfucking Mexicans, they was square big. They was on their gangster. And so uh, they was new on the block. So I never forget, nigga, they went up there in uh, Israel. They said, yeah, man, you know, them dudes right there been doing time a long time. They on the block now, man. Look, you know. But they don't know, nigga. These some damn fools. There's some damn monkeys upstairs. And me and my locs up there, we, we ain't trying to, we gorillas, we rough riders. The DMX was jumping hard, and we thought we was hard in the jail cells. We ain't that bitch rough riding, niggas. It's E block, nigga. Them niggas screaming O block, and we screaming E block in this whole year. And we doing that shit. So anyway, went up to the thing one day, and the Mexican had put a note on the door, on the wall. I said, what is that? Everybody was there reading it. And the mess the new, two new messes came right in, setting up shot, calling rules and shots. Was, this is what we're going to start doing. Well, y'all ain't talk to no niggas about that. I'm just saying, though, you know, I mean, I, I, mean, I don't know. You know, I don't think just no one race come up and put no paper on the thing and say, this is what we're going to start fucking doing around here. We're not talking to the black race and the white race, too. Well... For you to be in West Texas, down there by the EPT, which stands for El Paso, Texas, understand me? Um, um, um. <laughs> Your color is out of jurisdiction. <laughs> yeah, your color. Yeah, ain't nothing but, hey, shout out to my brown pride, man. Shout out to my EPT down there, my El Paso essays, man. Shout out to the, the Mancha family, Red Old Mancha and the family, man. Well, yeah, that West Texas shit. My, 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 my essay side. But anyway, um. So tries to say, well, hold on, man. Who, 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 I say, who made this list, man? You know what I mean? Y'all cutting into our soul train. What? Well, y'all gonna get 30 minutes of soul train and we're gonna catch it. Hey, no, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, soul train is a hour. We got a 30 right here and a 30 now. So what you mean cutting into that? Who you talking to? Who been? I saw I snatched the paper off the wall. Say, cause y'all make no rules around here and I ran back upstairs. It's old days. Yeah, some niggas came with money Mexicans. I had told them no, no Mexicans don't come up here. So no Mexicans. So, and one of the Mexicans knew his name was Chris. You know, Chris Alejandre. Chris said he gonna go up here anyway. So Chris came up the stairs and I, I just, they just trying to show out because the new Mexicans here. This gonna go down though. So when he came up, he ran up the stairs. I said, what's up, cuz? He said, say, man, they want to talk to you. I said, man, then I tell you, don't nobody, don't no essay, nobody come up here, nigga, but blacks, nigga. He said, no, man, we trying to talk to him. We not even trying to talk to you right now. I, 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 I take off on him. your bitch ass more pro. Back downstairs, he go. Next thing you know, man, uh, the old heads, you know. And oh, shout to Larry. Shout to my nigga Larry, uh, Larry, uh, Louis, Louis Montgomery and Larry Griffin. <laughs> if they ain't did. <laughs> Louis Montgomery, Larry Griffin. Larry Louis say, look at that person. Come here, little man. You know what you doing? I said, they want to fight. He said, hey, hey, hey. He said, look, person, person, come here, come here, person, person, look, person, come here, come here, come here. What is you doing? He said, you ain't look down there. No, nah, nigga, I never turn around and look. I said, oh, shit. 
you know, a whole bunch of Mexicans down there. I said, oh shit. He said, man, you know what you doing? He said, no, man, you just run around here. I, I had it tripping, man, getting stuff, man. That, you don't just run down there like that. You're going to go down them stairs and run into all that. Well, I kind of didn't look at it like that. I just thought I was going to go down there and fight the mess. And yeah, that's what you thought, Nick. You just going to run your dumb ass into a whole pack of lunch. Oh, you just about to be the, the, uh, the bandy we were talking about. <laughs> Running to the, but the old head peeped it before I got it. He said, now stay right here. Let me go down here and see what's going on. Oh, well, shit. I had a young nigga. I was, I was fucked up. I'm in jail. I ain't even fuck nigga. She it's whatever, you know. She, that's me. But they don't know these Mexicans don't play like that. You understand me? Uh. So Chang came, they came up with something to greet me. He said, that person, this was finna happen. You finna have to fight the Mexican you just hit a while ago. They gonna let you and him go one on one. I ain't tripped. Shit, you know, he boxer, so watch him. He's a boxer, he just watch, cause he got the, he, he been getting, I said, I don't give a fuck. Stand me so on. Uh, I go down there to fight the mess, and that's the first time I heard these words, uh, no mas. Never heard that in my life. That's the first time I ever heard that word, cause I kept saying, why the fuck this whole saying? Okay. But anyway, me and, him, me and him got our scratch on. Make a long story short, when Soul Chain came on, uh, I got up there and I turned the TV on Soul Train. Uh, three seconds later, the missing that I followed jumped up. And he turns it on to Hano Show. I said, what the fuck? What the fuck they doing, cuz? Huh? Shit, then we watching Soul Train, homie. Shit, what you doing, nigga? He said, no, boy, we, I told y'all we gonna watch. I told you you're gonna get y'all 30, man. I watched it, that man was so crunk, he said, I said, no, nah. he said, no, no, fuck that, come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, I said, God damn, the motherfuckers start coming out them cages like a motherfucker, I said, God damn. Oh, I learned that this time, we're no more running up back upstairs so fast. Oh, I had been set up. <laughs> <laughs> he knew what he was going to do before he did it, that's because of the fight. Oh, I came out, the shit jumped out, shout out to Marcus Brooks from Midland, Texas. Uh, some older cats that knew what to do, but when my dumb ass didn't, all I'm gonna get is the uh, exciting the ride, nigga. You, it's all because of your dumb ass. And they went in there, and them niggas went to work. That Mexican took out some pencils that he had tied up. He had sharpened every last one of the goddamn pencils like a pencil sharpener, nigga. And he had them motherfuckers tied up to the string, and he had that motherfucker in his hand like that. And them motherfuckers, they, ah! that bitch started rushing up at me with that hoe. Make a long story short, we had a little ride. Shout out to West Texas down there, man. But saying that to say this, everybody don't fight, niggas. Oh, they were fighting in uh, the 1900s, you know. It's 2000. Niggas burning, niggas blowing holes in niggas. Now, for real. Niggas really <laughs> blowing holes in niggas. You hear me? For real, man. Stay alive out here. Now, matter of fact, just stay out here with us, man. We can stay safe. Yeah. You know, one of the hottest artists recently, man, Pooh Shiesty, uh, came in the game, took over. Right. Had the streets, had the clubs, had hit records, most definitely left the impact, even with the ski mask, man. Mm -hmm. Had everybody pulling out ski masks, dropped a project, went crazy in the streets, 1017, right. Gucci. Really mm -hmm. was like the rookie of that year, undeniably. Couldn't nobody doubt it. You couldn't go nowhere without him and Pooh Shiesty. Okay, okay. But then he got okay. caught up in the situation out in Bay Harbor, Florida, over there in the Miami area, if I'm not mistaken. Let's fly in broad daylight. Two people shot in over a half a million bucks in exotic cars, all of it caught on camera. This surveillance video is from an October 9th shooting in Bay Harbor Islands, and it has a recording artist who goes by Pooh Shiesty in hot water. Unlike this clip, what happened here is no music video. The surveillance shows a McLaren sports car, Mercedes Maybach, and another Mercedes pull into this East Bay Harbor Drive condo parking lot. Guys eventually get out. The meeting about a pair of high-end sneakers for sale and some money owed. Then this. The man in the white shirt has a pistol. The man in the black sweatshirt is also pointing a weapon. Shots are fired before the gunmen take off in their fancy getaway cars. The victims telling police 20-year-old Pooh Shiesty was behind the wheel of the McLaren and he was armed with an assault rifle. Police also using these Instagram photos as part of their case. Shiesty with an assault-style rifle and cat... So him and his boys, they stood tall in this situation, man. Okay. The shooting, 
the robbery and everything that was involved in that case, right. they end up getting a little bit over five years. Or oh, that's okay. what he got. So he got in the feds, though. Hmm. So it went federal. With that happening, you know how the feds work. Right. You get shipped out of town, everything right. of that nature. Right. Well, Gucci sent out a message and said this from Pooh Shiesty, who locked up right now. We do not pay attention to how inmates in the U.S. are treated. Pooh Shiesty has been sent to a prison over 1,500 miles from his home. 23-hour hmm. lockdown and given empty food trays. USP Polex should be investigated immediately. He didn't put this is unacceptable. So, I hate to see that from Pooh Shiesty, man. And yeah. he was going crazy doing his stuff. But we got to tell them the real. We want to see Pooh Shiesty win, come home, mm -hmm. learn from his mistakes and go up. Mm -hmm. But he going through it right now. Empty food trays. What that mean? You ready? You ready? Er, ready? Yeah. Say that shit over. Oh, oh, that's over. Oh, you had it good. You fucked it up. Oh, that shit over. Exactly what Ed said. Starving. Ain't got this. Ain't no. Ain't nobody catering to your needs. That shit over. Oh, the living comfortable. Nigga, don't think they gonna make it comfortable. No, nigga, you ain't gonna sit around here bawling here, nigga. Put that nigga in the air. Oh, feds know what I'm talking about. Oh, you fed niggas know what I'm talking about. Put him in the air. It's too comfortable. Yeah, I just, I just had a party guy shipped in there the other day on. Um, that nigga, um, one state away from Canada. <laughs> Who the fuck gonna go up there? He ran that by goddamn. They did him like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. Ain't shit to eat. He probably eat twice a day. Ain't no three hots in a cock, nigga. You better have something in your locker. If not, nigga, uh, you might get breakfast and, and dinner. Uh, uh, and breakfast in the morning. And dinner again. They got places like that. They got torture chambers in there. They, they got places there. The shoe. They, they call it the shoe. But they got shit worse than the shoe. Y'all motherfuckers seen, um, uh, uh, Silence of the Lamb. Lamb, hey. You? you ever seen the movie Silence of the Lamb? And in that movie at the bottom, they got these 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 cells built in these bottom motherfucking tank. Cause that shit ain't okay. What, what is that? Have y'all seen the Green Mile? Okay, cool. Well, them niggas really was doing time, but they weren't out doing time. They had to be in them cells all day. That big old nigga be in there saying, you know, oh, yeah, and all that shit going crazy in the motherfucker. Well, poo shiesty, they up sitting your motherfucking ass somewhere where you go crazy. You be shiesty for real, nigga. That shiesty shit will play out. Yeah, your name too fly. They things break. They try to break niggas' character. They try to break niggas' spirit. And guess what, nigga? They, <laughs> they got somebody, nigga. You be in there looking real, real shiesty, poo. <laughs> I ain't lying. I'm talking about shit, man. Look at you. Look at now. Hold on. Fuck, I'm talking about. Nigga, think I'm playing with it. Get this nigga. Get this nigga. Hurry up. Somebody hurry up. I, got, I keep cleaning him up. Hurry. Somebody get this nigga a pen. Hurry, nigga. Shit, because I already see you do a lot of writing. Oh, but let me tell you what they do to you. Yeah. Why well, you out here saying you send this off to, to Mayor such and such? Uh, Governor such and such. Uh, as soon as they get it, the most like, man, I don't want to see this motherfucking shit. Who is it? Pooh Shite? Who the fuck is off? Who the fuck is a Pooh Shite? Get this shit out. Don't send us no fuck. Send that nigga ass up somewhere. And he be up there and don't, and, and won't feed you, nigga. You feel like you getting. I guess you thought you supposed to get the red carpet. I guess you thought you were going to get VIP treatment. I guess you thought you were going to get treated different than the rest of these niggas. Nah, nigga. That shit over. <laughs> and they going to show you. And you going to learn. And what you saying they doing? We believe you. They don't feed nobody crying like... Here, here nigga. Here, get in there you go. Here, nigga. Here. Right. Because you already right. Got niggas out here reading your mail, man. I didn't know nothing about life until I, I know it. Now, now you know it ain't no joke, do you? Now you, now you know you can go out there. And now, you, now, I wish you, you wish you could drill, make a drill now, huh? I wish y'all ask Pooh Shiesty, am I lying? <laughs> ask him. He ain't got that. You can ask Gucci because he already crying to that nigga on paper. How he being treated? I'm like, give a fuck how you being treated, nigga. You locked up. You an animal. Look, it ain't got a fucking rope around your neck. He talking about, it. oh, but when I try to tell y'all out here, Big Ant try to give you niggas some guidance. OG Percy try to know, you know, just steer a nigga a little right there. Oh, oh man, fuck.
Fuck them old heads. Fuck them old heads. Now look at the hero. Now hero. That nigga chill. They not feeding me. <laughs> well, you could have been out here eating your goddamn self. <laughs> you could have been out here. Ain't been trying to tell you niggas how to eat. But now, now you crying about where you at. Now you crying about what you ain't got. Now you crying about how people ain't treating you right. Well, if you stayed out here, nigga, with the rest of us, huh, huh, maybe you could be treating somebody right this Christmas. Oh, where's your kids at? You know yours at? Pusha. See, that's the thing they don't look at Ant when they leave behind all this type of shit. Them niggas really got these niggas fucked up. But now I'm glad the Pusha I see nigga writing. <laughs> yeah, y'all see how he fast he breaking down? That nigga sort of sunk in. He feel like he ain't being treated right. Guess what, y'all? Because that shit inhuman. Y'all niggas stay the fuck out here, man. Keep your feet on solid ground. You don't got to be in there, man. Fuck that shit. You free boys that's looking at me right now? Y'all better than Pooh Shiesty right now. The nigga y'all idolized, look at that. Look how he boo He was snitching from prison. Tell him, don't get in there and start snitching. You already locked up. What you snitching on? The Pope, how they ain't treating him. <laughs> you don't get no special privileges in here, nigga. Don't let feel fuck who you is in the world, nigga. That's in there. In her, you don't run a motherfucking thing. Ask El Pacino. El Chapo. Free Twisted Black. Shit like that. Ask niggas that's doing time that I already came in there in the same shoes that you was wearing, thinking that they could tell something. Let me tell you something about that shit, um, y'all. Somebody needs to write. You know how many letters they wrote on that place he talking about? <laughs> hey, they get... Hold on, let me help y'all out. They get junk mail <laughs> every week from the same shit that he doing in there now. How he ain't being treated. Well, you know, file your grievances, file your motherfucking I-60s, do what you got to do, but uh, please, you're not stepping on nobody's shoes. You are incarcerated, niggas. Yes, yeah, inhuman. Yeah, you finna see some shit that you didn't think they would do to nobody that somebody needs to know something about. And I'm going to write them and tell them because you think your word means something. Bitch ass nigga. They been writing that shit for years. Niggas been writing that shit in blood when they didn't have nothing but a finger to try. They back here treating us fucked up. <laughs> we know it. Like Ant said, you know the names of the game? Shit. Stay out there, motherfucker. Stay out. Stay out here, stay out here with us, man. Oh, yeah. Ain't no luxury, um, ballers. Shot callers. Swangers. <laughs> I, that shit over. Sipping, pouring, drawers, pre mowing, whatever you do, that shit over. You go play with your mom, that shit, and then what fuck me up? And when these niggas get in here and get to acting like they supposed to be somebody special. Man, you know they down here treat me wrong, man. They down here doing me best. Somebody need to say something about it. They been. <laughs> How they gonna see Oh, shit, another one of them. They ain't gonna throw your shit in the tray. They don't read that bullshit, niggas. About y'all trying to tell on the system. The system don't give a fuck about what y'all talking about. You in they system. And you talking about us. Now, nah, Pooh Shai Sion. Um, the world you came, the world you came from is over. But you know, you, you was warm before you got there. You understand me? Uh, my son was warm before he got there. Uh, seeing like some things you can't do to keep niggas from out that motherfucker. But hey. Like my son PMG said, sometime there, I guess, niggas just got to come see for themselves. <laughs> I said, I said that's, that's a horrible word of advice. But it's the most true statement, because some of you niggas ain't going to get it until you get it. Yeah, and they will fuck over you. Ain't no comfortable time, nigga. Your ass going to end up in China or something. Like that. Yeah, the feds don't play. Them hoes say, hide you somewhere. Shit, can't nobody find you. Um, when they bring you out, when they, they bring you out the grave about five years later, and everybody, where you been? You still locked up? You still locked up? You ain't heard nothing from him in, in, in a few years. Shit. I went down to see old, old, old Pooh Shice the other day, but he sure looking old. Yeah, he's stressing. <laughs> Shit. You see, I already writing y'all trying to think he can make a difference. Uh, they been writing them letters for years, nigga. <laughs> they get them type of letters every motherfucking week. By five or six different motherfuckers. Uh, they don't care about you during the time, man. And they damn sure don't about you whining and crying. Nah, that shit over. Once again, we're going to let them know. That shit over. <laughs>
<laughs> she balls. Man, but uh, who shites to come on home? Right. Do your thing. Turn up. Go get that bag. It's a part of the game, no, bro. Man. It's the other side where they going to do you dirty. They not going to play foul. Huh. They going to leave you in the hole, not feed you, hmm. and things of that nature, for sure. Yeah. You seen what Kodak went through, uh, Honeycomb, Brazy, several other artists just giving them real conditions, man. And that's what we out here trying to put out there for the people, man, for sure. Shout out to Pooh Shiesty, man. Ball when you come home, for sure. Go up. Man, please.